Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hello everyone, uh, today we see how to create this uh, really cool light effect brushes in a, a really new way uh, because I already uh, made, made a video about how to create this light brushes you can find it in the link from the description below but in this video we see a, a new easy way to do that so let's get to it Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and just go to File New and you can choose whatever measures you want in the width and the height. I will just keep it in this uh, measures in here, so I press OK. Now uh, I will uh, make uh, my background into black, so we just press Alt, Delete and I will create a new layer. I already made these two, but we'll see how to do that from scratch. So. Uh, I will go to the rectangle marker tool in here and we just create a, a rectangle like so in the middle like this or something like that you can you know choose whatever uh, uh, height and width you want doesn't be uh, doesn't have to be like this so now I will just press shift F5 or I can just go to edit and choose fill in here and I would use 50% gray and the piece okay. Now I press Ctrl D to deselect. Now uh, I will go to filter and I choose render and then fibers in here. Now in this uh, part, like uh, it depends on, uh, you know, on what you want because uh, it will uh, be different on with the size and also uh, you can choose uh, uh, with the randomize in here as you can see it changed when you, you randomize it so you can you know play with that we'll just choose something like this maybe I will make it up a little bit all right so we'll choose this one okay six press okay as you can see this will make it these lines in here now I will just press ctrl L to bring the level adjustment and I will make it darker a little bit like that alright press ok now I will go to filter again and I will choose blur and then motion blur and then you know uh, in this part also like uh, you know uh, for the distance you can choose whatever distance you want so we just uh, choose 500 you know if you choose a different size you might adjust the, the distance all right press ok now I will go back to filter and then choose blur and then Gaussian blur so we just give it one or two uh, radius pixel so it will blur it just a little bit and I will press ok now I will create a layer mask to so this one in here and I will go to the gradient tool and then I will make sure like, make sure the style is in here black into uh, uh, opacity 0 in here and then I will just drag like this so I will delete a little bit in the top like so so this will make it like fade away the light that and then I will go to the layer mask in here and I would right click and I will choose apply layer mask this this way it will apply it to the, the, the layer and then I will press ctrl T to enter the transform mode and I will rotate it like this maybe 150 degree or like this okay and then I will right click and I will choose perspective and then I will bring these two angles in here like this so as you can see this way it will make it look like a light beam in here and then I will just right click again and then choose distort and then I will bring this one bigger a little bit like that alright okay, like this okay and I will press enter 
as you can see this way we have our light beam in here we can replace it or in this case we will just save it as a brush and we will use it whenever we want so we just right click and we choose convert to smart objects and then I will just double click to it and as you can see it will open in a different window now we go to edit and then we should define brush preset then you know you can name it light and then we press ok and now uh, we make a new layer and we go to our brushes and then we will find it in here as you can see now we can just you know uh, you know just make the, the brush as we want it you know whenever we want like that now we can save it and there you go so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching